So we have that. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and I already know that it's about somewhere in here. So we'll go ahead and we'll hook one of these up. And then we'll move the other one over to catch it. Okay. So I have my glasses on and I still can't see. It's gonna go about like that, so Let's start heating this up and tin uh, this piece right here. We're going to heat down this iron until it kind of catches up to it. This is the boring part. I think what I'll do is I'll spare everyone and I'll go ahead and solder this and bring it back up. Okay, so here we go. This is, um, there's a solder right there. You're gonna see that's just kind of soldered well, right there. Okay, now what we'll do is uh, we'll hook our meter up and put some current to this thing. And put up, put up, isn't that cute? This will go to our meter, set on millivolts, and this one the most this goes is uh, 200 millivolts, so like I said the resolution is not going to be great on low amperage stuff. But on the higher amperage step, you're going to be able to read those. So next thing to do is go ahead and get our power connected through here and um, you get a reading. And let's see if I can do this over here. I'm just going to connect this one here and connect this one here. Okay, let me just turn this over. Prepare our wire to be soldered. We want it to be about the same. So we'll go ahead and. Okay. So let's see if you can see this. You can kind of see them both there. And um, turn on our power supply. There's three amps flowing. There's four, three, two, as you move closer. So what we want is we want it set on three amps. So I'm going to my little marker. We'll go ahead and look at the uh, voltmeter. Move this over to where it just starts to go on. Since I have it set at three, that's obviously above three. So we'll move it down. There's flickering to two. So that's about 2.9 right there to three. So we'll say go ahead and uh, I'm going to put this right here in the wood. We want to solder that wire right there. So we'll go ahead and turn that off and uh, We'll solder that right there. And again, I won't s spare everybody this lengthy procedure. We are just going to do the same thing and solder that wire, this wire, right here, just as we soldered that one. Okay, so here we are back again. We are going to um, now hook some power to this. Okay. So we've got our uh, little shunt bar, whatever you want to call that, uh, wired in. And now we're simply going to run our positive through that bar and onto the cell and tap off 
in millivolts to the meter to read the amps on this. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll hook our power up into this. Uh, let's turn this over to here. Uh, zoom, out, zoom out a little bit. Something like this. Okay, so what we'll do is uh, let's hook our. Uh, we've got our positive coming in from the supply voltage. So we'll go ahead and uh, hook the cell positive in, which is right here. Uh, right down on top. Like that, like that, and we'll put this on here, and hopefully this will read correctly or close. I happen to know that this uh, cell here is drawing about 19 amps. So that's kind of what I expect to see and uh, find out if, I mean, theoretically this should work uh, unless Newton had everything wrong all these years, which I doubt. Um, the voltage drop across the uh, known resistance is mathematically figured out. Okay, so we have our uh, minus going directly from the power supply of this black wire to the negative plate of the cell. And right there. And we got our positive coming from the supply, uh, down here from the supply. Uh, running through our shunt bar uh, on up into the positive of the cell. Pretty straightforward, I guess. Um, all right. So right now this cell is heated up a, a bit. It's uh, well, it's 40 degrees Celsius, uh, which is. Everybody else has already got this by now. 104 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's already nice and heated up. It gets hotter than that. I expect around 135-ish, but uh, if you let it run. Um, okay, so we got our power hooked up here. We are on uh, 200 millivolts. Uh, we're going to double check everything, power supply, positive through the bar, to the cell, um, I don't know, what else we could do, it should work, there's our bubbler, uh, let's see what happens. Millivolts, like I said, I know this cell draws about 19 and a half amps around there. Let's see if the pole man shunt works. Power on. And initially, you're going to get a higher, a little higher reading, and, and it'll, uh, it'll uh, come up. We got action on our bubbler here, and we're about 19. Well. I don't know if we're 19.2 or 19.9. We're we're 19 point something, and that is a fact. Um, okay, it's flickering about 18. That that's about right, right there, folks. So I would say 19 amps is correct, and we got a little hydrogen generation going on. Make sure our valves all the way open. Got nice activity. This 